Hey, this is Time Bomb. If it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do my somewhat regular breakdown of the rankings of all the teams in competitive squadrons. We got the biggest tournament coming up this weekend Twin Suns, $20,000 prize pool. I can't remember what the breakdown is. I think it's 10,000 for the way. It's crazy. Huge, huge prize pool. There's about 30 teams in it. Now, I think some teams, like we know, have a better chance than the others. And I'm going to use the same form that Hod had used for his breakdown. Big ups to him. Thank you very much, Hod, for doing it. I actually haven't watched his yet. I'm going to link it below. I wanted to do mine first before I watch his. I'm going to check his out later. So check his out as well. I'm going to go through mine too. They might be similar because, you know, I think we kind of all know where it's at, but I'll, I'll try to add my own little insights kind of as we as we go through here too. Okay, so go over to his here, take a look. So, I mean, yeah, obviously there's some easier calls here. So let's go through. First of all, a team that I think I should you know, recognize maybe in other times had been not represented on here, Cavern Angels Gold. Clearly a contender. One of the best teams in there, one of the toughest teams. I think it's a shame that they don't get a spot invite to the final yet, yeah, just the way it's kind of gone with gas. They haven't, I think, decided yet. You know, they, they should, you know, decide one way or another, I think, and, and kind of let <laughs> Cavern Angels know if they kind of have to do this next season. I really feel like that should be something that should have to be decided really beforehand. Just seems unfair to Cavern Angels to be on the uh, the bubble like that and not know in any case. Let's keep going here. Another easy one. Sorry, I should say about Cavern Angels. Look out for them. Such a tough team. Both sides, Empire and New Republic. Uh, so they scrim against all the other great teams, so I'd really look out for them to take this whole thing and have a, one of their best showings, I think, of the whole year. Next up, I'm going to put them, of course, here. Dominant team, you know, uh, the first to qualify for the end of the year. They've, they've had great showings, you know, finals all the time, winnings, uh, purse winnings this year. I mean, they're just leading the way in every category. Are they going to off just start off? taking down your frigates and then just off phase your capital ship? Is that what they're gonna do? Who knows? Who knows what Splinter is capable of? I expect to see them do things this weekend that we've never seen. Venkar hasn't made a video in like three weeks or something. They got something cooking, so look out for Splinter. Uh, of course, coming off the win, Randalorians, you know, toughest team. They've, uh, they were doing a lot of PVP. They've kind of worked in even more, I mean, sorry, you know, they've always been a very, <laughs> very efficient PVE team, but they did kind of have a PVP kind of in a few tournaments kind of lead really more so than other teams, whereas I think now they've kind of balanced it out a little bit and gotten back to more balanced PVE. And I think that could really uh, show in this tournament because they have both sides that they can really go to. I think we are seeing a little bit more PvP in the game lately and people using using the PvP to set up their offense a little bit in different ways. And uh, I, I think maybe that can go both ways. And we'll see what strat they'll go with this time because they really could use both or go either way. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Uh, another team that's very interesting to watch here is Cheese. From what I understand, they've added Shazam to their team and don't have a regular support. I don't know the truth to that. That's just kind of what I heard. I might be completely wrong, but that's pretty wild. I kind of like seeing a team running an all-out offense with, you know, crazy players like that top to bottom. That's a great lineup on Cheese. So, you know, of course, you got to look out for them. Um, Who else we got in the top here? I uh, Kind of just doing the top Remnant Squadron. I'm going to put them in a contender because they have been working hard all year. You know, they got their spot. Uh, they definitely are always right there in those top four to, to you know, eight area, and they're always pushing it. They just haven't really quite been able to just just turn that corner quite enough, but I really, and, and win one and get to that final, I really think they're capable of it. They've got all the tools. They've always got really interesting strats. They're, you know, it's a team that you definitely have to look out for every time you play them, so I, I think Remnant as well. You know, they could definitely get one of those big wins against these teams and end up in the final and be a contender for this thing. Of course, team that just got sponsored, uh, Imperial Guard there. They are such a tough team. You know, they made it to the final, uh, you know, their whole team top to bottom. I, I mean, I've played with Narcissist a bit and he's such a good leader, giving the call outs, you know, mine or hot, uh, so many great players on that team. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta look out for them. And I really think that they could 
definitely turn the corner again. Another team that's like been so close so many times, they just need to get, I think they're more than capable of getting those wins against, you know, those splinters or randos when they need to. And <laughs> now that they need to, I really think they can get it done. So I think they're in that spot as well. So we got six teams in the contenders. That seems about right to me. The team I was debating almost putting there, they're so strong, um, but I, I didn't hear is, uh, I thought Fracture could almost go there, but I'm going to put them in the top eight, very likely. I think they have a great, great chance of getting there. Another team that I was so impressed when I just played against in the SCL qualifier, I think, uh, you know, don't disrespect to any of the other teams that we played in this, but they were so tough. I'm going to give it up to Guac Squad, and I think they could... Maybe they're, maybe some people would consider that as dark horse for the top eight, but I, I honestly was so impressed with them. I could see them getting the top eight. Uh, another team that had really good showings that might surprise people. Well, you know, before you do them, I'm going to say Crimson Wings, of course. You know, they all year they've been such a tough team. I think they have Namaste on their lineup right now. That's just wild. Who knows how much he's been playing, actually. Uh, so you never know what's going to happen there. That will be very, very, very interesting to see. Um, I'm also going to, you know... So I don't hate to do this together, Tempest. Tempest, I feel like they actually don't necessarily get the respect that they deserve for how great their showings have been almost the whole year. I feel like they only had one tournament where they didn't make the second day, and it was, I, I don't know, they were just probably just off or something. that had a little, I, I don't even know what it is, but they've been seriously top eight all year, and I don't think I've given them enough respect. Maybe here or there I have, but I've never had them in the top tier, but I feel like this kind of shows better that they're just a step behind maybe those contender top contender teams but they're right there like don't get me wrong they were very close to qualifying for uh, uh the, the cow cup final so uh, before the, the the point split so i feel like people you can't take them lightly they're such a strong team and in the same regard nova another great team like all these these three great teams they you know they get to play all together and cheese with cheese as well all four of them get to play and they get high level scrims a lot so i end with each other and i think those teams are just all very strong teams that you have to look out for. Um, what's the other one I wanted to put here? Hut was another team that definitely could go here. I know maybe maybe that will surprise some people. Just a very strong team. They're playing all the time. All the time. You know they understand the mechanics of the game in a very deep way. Uh, they do the data mining. I think you know, to to understand a lot of these things. So. You really can't count HUD out. They have a lot of different strategies, uh, versatile players. You got to look out for them. They can kind of go either way. Ooh, I'm going to forget some of these teams. So I do have the Twin Suns participants over. Just from the logos, I don't know them as well. Um, two tough teams that I maybe don't think get enough recognition either. It's just kind of tough to put so many teams in the top eight likely now, but I <laughs> I just feel like they have, all, all of these teams have a very good chance, so I'm only going to put one more in the top eight likely, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm going to put two more, because these two teams, I see them playing together so often, and there's, you know, I, I feel so bad, there's so many teams that could be in the top eight that I, that I, these two top eight and top 16 are so interchangeable that I, I do have to say that I'm going to, to just put Rancor is two teams because I've had played with them a lot and they have some very interesting strategies. Sometimes I think uh, they can surprise people. Two very strong teams. I'm going to put them in a top eight. So now you see I have eight teams in the top eight, six in the contenders. I feel like that's a lot. So we're, I feel like everyone should just, if you aren't mentioned so far, should remember that. Look at how off these numbers are while I'm, in, while I'm including them. But that's really how I feel is an honest opinion. So now I'm going to go with the next level of teams. And this is teams like, first of all, let me put Spicy in here. Because Spicy is another team that has had amazing showings all year and maybe didn't get the respect that they necessarily deserved to. So I should just talk about them. Like, they honestly have played really well. I think they've made second days on most of the tournaments. It was just that they couldn't accept it, I believe, in the first tournament. So, I mean, they're, again, another team that things gone slow slightly differently could have made actually the point split uh and qualify it was very close I, mean, I don't know if people even recognize how close a lot of those were and how just a few different points may have made all the difference in the world okay now i'm trying to get remember is this shrapnel we gotta remember shrapnel squadron here we're kind of flying through there yeah shrapnel squadron which has Boss Ness, Mouser Terry, Ando Senpai, we got Stardust, Mirage, and Beneficial. So I think this is a team as well that could be in the top 16. 
uh, you know, Cobra Tie, friends with us. They're a dogfighting team, um, one of the best dogfighting teams, too. They're really good, so you never know with them, too. They could have a different strategy. You know, Chuko, they have great players on there, uh, so definitely a chance for them. Um, gotta kind of look up another one of these logos here. The you guys, I'm sorry, just checking it out. Oh, that was Kalisto Squadron. I don't know though them as well, so I'm gonna put them down in the D. I apologize. That may sound mean, but you know what? I'm also gonna put Orange Squadron down in the D because we've just been playing so bad. But you know what? We got a good chance to make it up there. I'm gonna put a Peach with us as well. They've had a tough time. <laughs> you know what? I feel like that's too mean. We should all be top 16 contenders. There's only 30 teams in this thing. Everyone's a top 16 contender. <laughs> now, who else we got? Hex and Crone Squadron have been playing really well as as well here. Uh, so I'm going to put them in the top 16 contenders as well here. I feel like they have a really good chance. And now the, I feel like I'm messing up, Sigil Squadron, another really, really good team that, you know, I feel like maybe hasn't gotten the credit they should here. We see they got Platypus, Blackjack, Obi-Shan Kenobi, Action, uh, Action Jackson, Iron General, get at it, play them. Really tough squad that they could, you know, I think they have a good chance to make the top 16 as well. So I'm gonna put them there. TFA, I feel like they're top 16 contenders uh, with Orange Squadron. We've kind of been very similar to them along the way. We've kind of got to prove, I think, a little bit that we can we can do it too. I think TFA is kind of in a similar spot to us. Um, Sorry, this green sword one. I know this team. It's Typhoon Squadron. Just playing them the other day. Really good players. They always play together. Doyle, Falcon, Heck the Fifth, Lions, Kriz, Garrison, Meteor. Good, solid squad that plays together. I would actually put them almost as a top 16 likely. Put them on that tier. I think that maybe they don't get the recognition that they necessarily should either. That's a good, good squadron right there. And the last one here. I've got to double check who they are. Is that Crimson Wing? No, that can't be Crimson Wing. No. <laughs> no, he did Crimson Wing. Six Twelve Valor Squadron. Interesting. Tough to distinguish them. I don't really know who that is, so I'm gonna put them down on the D. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know who you are. So that's the one team odd out on the D. And you know what? Just to uh, just to be nice. Hey, what? We'll put Orange back on the D. Hey, what? Why not? We can't leave them alone. I'll put my own team there. We're struggling a bit right now, but who knows how we're gonna do? We're gonna have fun this tournament, everybody. This is a big one. I hope you guys are all excited for it. I really want to thank X for putting this on. This is an incredible tournament. I hope everyone. Just has fun you know swiss format i think is the best format so I, i'm really excited for it so thank you everybody for checking out this video let me know in the comments you what that would be a better listing tell me how how wrong i got it i'm sure i did i'm kind of trying to be nice too but i'm really excited for this thanks a lot for checking out the video guys i'm time bump you guys are awesome and i will catch you guys later boom, boom.